As I get older, I have fewer and fewer fucks left to give and really precious things to spend them on. These are the dishes that I use every night to feed at least six mouths. Delicious food that doesn't waste any of the fucks that I still have left. These are my vegetarian converting chicken wings. Now these wings are legendary for converting one of my friends, Julie, who'd been a long-term vegetarian back to meat, hence the name, The Vegetarian Converters. Now I've just got to put gloves on because I'm going to be touching chili and garlic and raw chicken. So I always do this, it's just worth it. The other thing is allow plenty of time for these things to cook because you're going to need it. And use the freshest garlic you can find. Heaps of it too, don't be stingy. Now people make themselves crazy with ginger peeling it because I don't like the outside bit but it's it's totally edible and uh, you can just cut it up a bit to give it to give the food processor a bit of a head start. I'm actually a little hesitant to share this recipe because it is literally a currency which I use to trade for things. So in the past you know whenever I need to say thank you to someone for for a present I um, I can drop around a tray of chicken wings. Kids love them, babies love them, adults love them, men love them, barbecues love them, Christmas loves them. They're basically the best wing recipe that you'll ever have. I'm just gonna do the chilies now, another good reason to have the gloves on. The biggest fuck I guess you gotta give with this recipe is for the sauce. The chicken requires no preparation whatsoever, but you do have to kind of get, like the garlic's a bit annoying and the chilies a bit annoying. But then once it's in the food processor, you sort of, your work's sort of done. And then I add a whole jar of honey and pretty much an equal amount, slightly more, of Japanese soy sauce. All right, so everything's in there. We've got garlic, ginger, soy, honey, and chili. So I've got chicken from the supermarket, it's already been trimmed. It doesn't have that third joint because I hate that third joint, it tastes manky to me. Uh, and I've lined my baking tray with both foil and baking paper. If you think that's excessive, you go for it, do it your own way. But I've done this recipe like 2,000 times and trust me, you don't want to be scrubbing the pan. So lay, lay all the wings out skin side down on the tray, like so. Again, glad I'm wearing gloves. That is, a, it's a thing of beauty. Got the sauce, and then I'm gonna spoon some of this liquid gold over the top, but not the whole amount. This is basically me investing in my future. So at some point down the line, picture this. The whole family's got head lice, and it's up to you to sort it out. So you've been combing and scrubbing and delousing for hours, if not days, if not weeks, and you're basically, your hands are red raw and you're fed up, well, at that point in time, you're gonna look in the fridge and go, I banked some fucks. I put some fucks in a high interest term deposit and now it's payday because I'm just gonna spoon this baby over some chicken, stick it in the oven and everyone thinks I'm a genius. So that's what this is for, okay? You have gotta give a little bit of a fuck the day you make the marinade. The rest of the time, the fucks are in the fridge. You need about an hour in the oven to cook really slowly, to get really sticky, for the sauce to really bake onto the chicken. So don't race it. About 175 degrees in the oven, middle of the oven, middle shelf, and turn it after about half an hour. So they've been cooking for about an hour or so, maybe an hour and a half, and look at that, it's perfect. So true story, I once swapped a tray of these for a brand new double bed. Mmm. Fair income, I want you to try cooking this at home because this is like the crack cocaine of chicken wings. Oh, that's terrible, horrible. Mmm, everything I said was lies. Do not eat this, do not cook it, it's disgusting. Mmm. Mm. Ha, ha, ha.